city of Healdsburg has cut its water use in half. KPI X5's Wilson Walker joins us live to show us how they did it. Wilson? Liz, Lake Mendocino provides the bulk of the water here in Healdsburg. At the start of the summer, there was talk of that lake just simply running dry, and just the thought of that compelled some real conservation efforts here. They have worked, and the brown field I am standing on is only part of it. Yes, this is a field that's used for soccer practice, you know, outdoor activities, um, part of this community park. And normally it would be very green and, and ready for activities, but uh, this year's different. Letting the park lawns die off was only part of the answer. To cut overall water consumption in half, Healdsburg really set out to change the way residents think about their own water use. And so for us, there's a, there's a water budget for residential customers, 74 gallons per person per day, and, and that's what they have to stay in. And, and most residents have been able to, to achieve that and better. They gave us a water budget to stick to, which I think is helpful for most people, rather than just have to cut it by a certain percentage. Linda Barber says the budget helped, but far more helpful was the city's deliveries of recycled water. We reduced our indoor water usage as well, but it would not have been possible to stay within the budget without the recycled water. One community not faring as well with cutbacks is the city of Sonoma, where water use has dropped less than 4% versus last year. Now, ask residents here, and they will tell you that they're trying. I've cut back, I've cut back 50% on my water. In fact, our whole neighborhood has pretty much done the same thing. I mean, the disparity from one community to another is sparking some conversation and some thoughts on why conservation in Healdsburg has been so successful. Uh, well, I've talked with my neighbors about that and you know we've had different ideas uh, in part it might be because our situation was more dire than other cities because of the where we get our water from um, other places maybe north of us didn't use as much water to start with yeah. and so they didn't need to reduce their water as much so yeah I'm not sure um, <laughs> why all right, I talked about uh, the parks. They cut the water off, let the lawns die here. They are trying to save the trees here. They're bringing that recycled water in and dumping it on the roots of the trees, trying to save them. But as you can see, I'm going to show you sort of that guy right there. You can tell not all of them are handling it very well, so that there's going to be some long-term cost to this strategy. But with the situation at Mendocino, Liz, not much of a choice. And you have to say that the citizens here responding quite admirably. Yeah, they made the sacrifices they needed that they needed. All right, Wilson, thank you.